everybody. We're going to move on to our next scale now. And using the D major scale as a reference, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, bringing us to A, and that will be our new scale. So let's start by writing our G clef. And A, second space A, B, C, D, E, F. Now we're going above the staff to G, and now we have to draw a ledger line. And there's the A, an octave above the A that we began with. Double bar line. And let's put in carrots between three and four, seven, eight, indicating that we need half steps between these pairs of notes. Okay, let's get started. A to B is a whole step, and that's good. B to C is a half step. We need to change the C. We need to widen the B at B, C, and make it B to C sharp so that it's a whole step. That's good because it changed the relationship now between the C and D. Now we have a C sharp D, which is a half step, and that's what we want. D to E is a whole step. That's good. E to F is a half step. We need a whole step here. So we have to widen the E to F by raising the F to an F sharp. Now we have our whole step, E to F sharp, but now we have another half step, F sharp to G, and we need a whole step here. So we raise the G to a G sharp. F sharp to G sharp is now a whole step. That's good, and look at this. G sharp to A is the half step that we need at the top. Okay, let's add our key signature now. So we'll redraw G clef. And we're going to take uh, the F sharp and the C sharp from the previous D scale. F sharp. C sharp, and we're going to add a G sharp. So we're going to go up five from C, C, D, E, F, G, to the top here, and that's what the A major key signature looks like. Since we all know the alphabet, and this is the A scale, we don't need to waste any time saying A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But we do uh, need to spend some time including these sharps now. So let's uh, do four at a time. A, B, C, sharp, D, 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 and now E, F, sharp, G, sharp, A, E, F, sharp, G, sharp, A, E, F, sharp, G, sharp, A. See if we can go right up. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. A little slower. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Very good. Okay, let's deal with the bass clef now. So we have A major, and we're going to write it out using the F clef. This one, two, three, fourth line is F, so I go F, E, D, E. C, B, A, and that brings me to the first space. And this is, this A, since middle C is up in this range, and the, the A below it is right here, this is two A's below middle C. Okay, so we have A, B, C, D, E, F, there's the F line, G, and A, double bar. OK, 
Okay, half step carrots, three and four, seven and eight, half, half. We'll go through this whole thing again. A to B is a whole step, that's good. B to C is a half step, that's not good. We raise the C to a C sharp. C sharp to D is good, that's a half step. D to E is a whole, that's good. E to F is not good. We need to raise the F to an F sharp. Now we have a whole. E to F sharp is a whole. F sharp to G is a half. We need to raise the G sharp to make F sharp to G sharp our whole step. Top of the scale, G sharp to A is good. And let's write in the key signature in bass clef. So we take the F sharp and the C sharp from the D scale, and we add the seventh step of the A scale right here. And this is our bass clef key signature for A major. And let's just review going, reading the notes going up in the bass clef. So we have A, B, C sharp, D, real fast. A, B, C sharp, D. Again, A, B, C sharp, D. And now E, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, fast. E, F sharp, G sharp, A, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. See if we can go A to E. A, B, C sharp, D, E. A, B, C sharp, D, E. Let's go right up. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Great. All right. Let's take the treble clef, A scale, and write it backwards. A, G sharp, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, A. And we'll put that down here. Draw another G clef. And we're going to begin on ledger line above the staff, A. Come down to G. F, E, D, C, B, A, double bar. Okay, this one we're going to have to practice saying backwards. So let's go A, G, F, E, A, G, F, E. Faster, A, G, F, E, A, G, F, E, A, G, F, E. Next, four, D, C, B, A, D, C, B, A. Faster, D, C, B, A, D, C, B, A, D, C, B, A. See if we can go from A to D. A, G, F, E, D, A, G, F, E, D. Faster, A, G, F, E, D, A, G, F, E, D. All right, all the way down. A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Again, A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Now let's add the sharps that we need to make it A major. And we have the G sharp, the F sharp, and the C sharp. And we're ready to go. Let's take the first four. A, G sharp, F sharp, E. Again, A, G sharp, F sharp, E. Faster. A, G sharp, F sharp, E. A, G sharp, F sharp, E. It's hard to go fast with all these sharps. All right, last four. D, C sharp, B, A. D, C sharp, B, A. Faster. D, C sharp, B, A. D, C sharp, B, A. Let's go from A to D. A, G sharp, F sharp, E, D. Here we go. A, F sharp, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, D. See? A, G sharp, F sharp, E, D. And now all the way down. A, G sharp, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, A. A little slower. A, G sharp, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, A. Let's do the same thing in bass clef now. So we're going to go down from this A to the first space A. And we're going to go backwards. So bass clef. This is an F. So I go F, G, A. This is my beginning A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A, double bar.
Let's begin with the first four going down. We have A, G, F, E, A, G, F, E, faster, A, G, F, E, A, G, F, E, and we have D, C, B, A, D, C, B, A, faster, D, C, B, A, D, C, B, A, see if we can go from A to D, A, G, F, E, D, A, G, F, E, D, a, G, F, E, D, faster. A, G, F, E, D. Good. A, G, F, E, D. We're going to go right through now. A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Once again, A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. A little faster. A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. And this is how you read music. You don't you know, you practice it enough so that you can just read a whole thing. It's like a, a sentence almost, or if you have a word with letters, you're reading the whole word and not the individual letters. Let's add the sharps. G sharp, F sharp, and C sharp. And here we go, first four. A, G sharp, F sharp, E. A, G sharp, F sharp, E, faster. A, G sharp, F sharp, E. And one more time. A, G sharp, F sharp, E. Next four. D, C sharp, B, A. Here we go. D, C sharp, B, A. D, C sharp, B, A. Let's go first five. One, A, down to D. A, G sharp, F sharp, E, D. A, G sharp, F sharp, E, D. See if we can go right through. A, G sharp, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, A. Again, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, A. Great. So that's A major. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, for homework, write out treble clef three times, key signature, bass clef three times, along with the key signature. Uh, treble clef descending three times, bass clef descending three times. The more you write, the better off you're going to be. Um, one other technique that you should use when naming notes is to point directly to the note and then say the letter name. A, C sharp, F sharp, B, etc. Uh, this is a great way to do it. Um, the other thing you should do after you've written them all out, three times each, is label the individual notes with letter names. And all of this information will slowly seep into your brain. And you'll go to sleep at night, and your brain will continue to work on it. And voila, you will know A major really well. Okay, we're revisiting the circle of fifths. And we started with C, went up five to G, added the F sharp on the seventh step, took the G scale, went up five to D, found out it needed a C sharp on its seventh degree. We also found out that the D scale inherited the F sharp, so that the new key, sing, uh, key signature of the D scale was F sharp, C sharp. So now we go up five from D, D, E, F, G, A. And A inherits the F sharp, the C sharp, and adds a G sharp on its seventh step. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson on A, and I'll see you next time.